Today's topic is nasal and paranasal tumors. Nasal and paranasal tumors are abnormal growths that begin in and around the passageway within your nose. Nasal tumors begin in the nasal cavity. Paranasal tumors begin in air-filled chambers around the nose called the paranasal sinuses. Nasal and paranasal tumors can either be non-cancerous or cancerous. Several types of nasal and paranasal tumors exist. Symptoms Possible signs and symptoms of these cancers, often only on one side, include nasal congestion and stuffiness that doesn't get better or even worsens, pain above or below the eyes, blockage of one side of the nose, post-nasal drip or nasal drainage in the back of the nose and throat, nose bleeds, a lump or mass on the face, palate or top of the mouth, or inside the nose, constant watery eyes, bulging of one eye, loss or change in vision, pain or pressure in one of the ears, hearing loss, headache, trouble opening the mouth, enlarging lymph nodes in the neck, seen or felt as lumps under the skin, pus draining from the nose, problems with your sense of smell, numbness or pain in parts of the face, loosening or numbness of teeth. Causes Nasal and paranasal tumors form when a genetic mutation turns normal, healthy cells into abnormal cells. Healthy cells grow and multiply at a set rate, eventually dying at a set time. Abnormal cells grow and multiply out of control, and they don't die. The accumulating abnormal cells form a mass or tumor. If the abnormal cells become cancerous, they might invade nearby tissues and separate from an initial tumor to spread or metastasize to other parts of the body. Diagnosis Using an endoscopic camera to see inside your nasal cavity and sinuses. Collecting a sample of cells for testing or biopsy. Imaging tests to create pictures of your nasal cavity and sinuses. Treatment Surgery 1. Open surgery 2. Minimally invasive surgery Radiation therapy Palliative care Palliative care is specialized medical care that focuses on providing relief from pain and other symptoms of a serious illness. Risk factors Factors that may increase the risk of nasal and paranasal tumors include smoking and being around people who are smoking, breathing in air pollution, long-term exposure to chemicals and irritants in the air at work, infection with human papillomavirus, or HPV, which is a common sexually transmitted infection. Prevention. To reduce your risk of nasal and paranasal tumors, you can stop smoking. Protect yourself from fumes and irritants in the air. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.